All right, we are. Stop this record. Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. We are live. There we go. Oh, we lost him. All right. Now we're actually live. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Realtor Marketing Secrets. This is first time we've ever done anything like this uh, to start off with. I am super, super excited. And this is long overdue. We should have done this ages ago. But most importantly, we are here today. We're going to let people start funneling in. Um, I'm also just going to let people... Uh, Give some time for people to see, see our email and text blast to make sure that we have enough people on this call because we have some exciting stuff that we want to go over with you guys today. Um, guys, the state AI is something very special. You know, you look at companies like Zillow, like Realtor.com, um, like Zale Media, and there's there's just something different about what we're doing here at Estate AI. And honestly, I think I owe everyone, and my, I can't speak for Matt, but I definitely owe everyone an apology to the entire community. People, we have hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people that have seen our ads, um, hundreds of thousands of people um, that have you know, commented and requested information. We've had thousands of people book calls, hundreds of clients. And I think one thing that we haven't conveyed is the vision. Why hmm. are we doing what we're doing? How did we get here? What is a city? What is this Black Hawk system? What is this AI technology that hmm. we're leveraging that genuinely is changing the real estate game? And we have um, a mission and a vision here in the city. And the mission is to really shift the paradigm of the entire real estate industry. Now we shortened that, 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 uh, that mission. And at one point it was to shift the paradigm of the entire real estate industry by teaching people how to convert opportunities uh what consistent opportunity flow basically how to convert and close people from online marketing because as realtors like we're so focused on sphere of influence referrals and using the traditional methods that yeah they worked 10 15 20 years ago but don't work in the 21st century in this in a time and in, in an era where artificial intelligence is taking over where Really, people are getting left behind where interest rates are going up, where there's a lot of stuff going on in the real estate market. And we still have our brokers telling us to go do stuff that really doesn't work anymore, like I said. Um, so before I keep rambling on, uh, I, I wanted to dive in. And one of the biggest reasons why Matt and I wanted to hop on is to share our story. And I think it makes the most sense for Matt to share his story because he is ultimately the real founder of Estate AI. Um, and it's been such an honor to be able to work alongside him and, and really help the company get to where it's at now. And there's so much more that we have to do, uh, but we can't do it without your help. And that's why we want to go live, answer your questions, and also just talk to you about what this company really is. 100%. And I just want to make sure we have on record, Jared said it was an honor to work alongside me it's been an honor i just want to make sure that is that is recorded um that is yeah that that i'm going to show that to my grandkids one day but um jared you you bring up a great point we haven't really conveyed the mission and the vision right and when you look at great companies they aren't just great products they're great missions and the great product is a byproduct of a great mission so like Jared said, our mission at Estate AI is to shift the paradigm of the entire real estate industry. The entire real estate industry, right? Millions and millions of realtors. And you might ask, well, why is that the mission? Why, why that specifically? Was it just, did it just sound good? So we put it together. Is there actually thought behind it? Why did we actually choose that as the mission of our company? To quickly give you guys an overview of my story, I started Estate AI about two years ago. I first started marketing for realtors when I was 17 years old, so a long, long time ago. And the reason that I started marketing for realtors actually goes back to something that happened to me when I was 14 years old. When I was in ninth grade, I was struggling a lot. I wasn't doing well in school. I was getting in trouble. I was 
performing very poorly on my tests. And I decided to do something crazy, which if you're a parent, you're going to understand how crazy this is. Um, and I dropped out of school. I dropped out of ninth grade and I decided I wasn't going to go to school anymore. Now, my mom's a single mom. She was raising myself and my brother as she had for, uh, you know, years before that. And just a couple months after I came to the brilliant idea that I was going to drop out of school, my mom got fired from corporate America and she lost her job. And my mom's bright idea, which some people said might be even crazier than dropping out of ninth grade, was to become a realtor. So the same year that I dropped out of school, my mom decided to become a real estate agent. Here's my single mom trying to put food on the table for my brother and I, dealing with one kid who's literally leaving school, another kid who, you know, luckily my brother was, you know, 4.0 GPA, very uh, studious and didn't get in trouble and all that stuff. Um, but I, I not so much. So she's, she decided to become a real estate agent and we butted heads a lot. As you could imagine, if, if you're a parent or even as a kid, if you dropped out of ninth grade, your mom just lost her job. And now you guys are both dealing with this stress of what are we going to do with our lives in very different ways. We're both trying to figure out what are we going to do with our lives? We butted heads a lot and we struggled a lot. And um, it wasn't it wasn't a pretty year by any means. But the one thing that we always collaborated on was marketing my mom's new real estate business. because. The way I saw it, if I could help her make more money, we could get name brand cereal again <laughs> and we could get the new video games and we could get all this stuff. Because when it came to, hey, you know, mom, why, why can't I get the new Xbox? Why can't I get the new phone? Whatever it is, it's hey, I don't have a job. You're not even in school. It's crazy for you to even be asking about those things. So my selfish my selfish gain with helping my mom grow her business was literally that simple. But it created this positive feedback loop in my brain, which was if I can help my mom make more money then I can have a better life. And I didn't realize just how true that actually was. I went on to become a professional marketer and my mom went on to crush it as a realtor. She went from making $80,000 a year as a corporate America employee to making $400,000 a year as a realtor and as an agent. And I'm blessed to say that we've actually been able to work with my mom and we've generated her $2 million in volume and just $3,000 of ad spend. So she actually just got a $975,000 house um, that's going on the market, I think, next week. She just signed the listing last week, and it's in the neighborhood that we used to live in um, that I actually lived in when I dropped out of school. So a lot of synchronicities there, but that is why our mission is to shift the paradigm. When I saw my mom get started in real estate, when I saw how stressed she was, how much guidance she lacked, she lacked a roadmap, she lacked, she lacked a path. She just kind of put her hands up, said, I need to figure this out. So I'm going I'm to become a realtor. I'm going to learn how to make money. And that's what most people do. Either they really need it or they just see the lifestyle. They see these realtors driving nice cars and like, oh, that, that looks like a fun job. But as you know, if you've been in this business for a little while, that is not the reality of real estate. And I realized that there's just a lot of information and clarity and guidance lacking in this industry. People don't know how to predictably get qualified leads. People don't know how to actually properly follow up with those leads, convert those leads, how to build a legitimate business. Instead, they're thrown into the game at some brokerage and they're told, call your sphere and keep calling your sphere and go knock on doors and go hand out flyers and do this and do that. A lot of outdated methods that just really don't fit with the times, especially the technology that is becoming available to us today. So that is the mission of a state AI. That is why it is uh, that that's why it is what it is. And that's a little bit about my story, why I even decided to start this company. And thankfully, as much as I am remiss to admit it, I have been honored to work with Jared as well and um, have him as our, our CEO. And yeah, we want to share a little bit about what we actually do and what the technology actually does and kind of pull back the curtains on how the system actually works um, and how it actually is uh, shifting the paradigm of this industry that we're in. So. And, and Matt, thanks for sharing that. And I want to be really honest as to why we're going live. We need more realtors to understand what we're doing because mm -hmm. it's greater than us. It's greater than our team. Uh, we have so much work to do, but we need more agents in the program, period. We need more agents in the program. If we can get an additional 50 agents in the program this month, 
that will be game changing because it allows us to do so much more mm. for this industry. We get to bring in, we have some crazy special guests we just brought on literally yesterday alone um, in our co- private exclusive inner circle um, for realtors teaching and coaching them on how to grow their business. We're bringing on eight and nine figure people, top 001% real estate agents, really coaching our clients. And we're getting them some amazing opportunities that they can really go and, and make a lot of money off of. And um, Matt, I, I'd be really interested to really just see, I'm a visual person. I would love to see what this system really is, how it works and breaking it down. And honestly, I don't think anyone's better to talk about the product than you. Well, uh, luckily I prepped something. So I'll, I'll keep it short guys, but I can share my screen. And uh, this will show up in the live too, Jared, right? Yeah, this, this will be in the live. Cool. Okay. So I'll actually kind of break down the system. Um, and this is similar to kind of what we actually like offer clients when we hop on zoom calls with them, but I'll skip kind of the marketing and sales talk. And I'll just show you guys the actual process and then some of the results we've generated. And if you want to chat more about it, uh, just let us know, comment AI on this video, by the way, if you do want more info, if you do want to chat with us, um, that way we can reach out, just drop a comment. And also if you can hear me just to make sure, cause that we usually, we start off lives with drop a one. So we make sure that you guys can hear us. We skip that on this one. So if you, if you can hear me, drop a one just so I make sure we're good. Um, and with that being said, Jared, if you want, I can just kind of dive into how this works. Let's do it. I'm pumped. Cool. Okay. So this is our 10 listing appointments guaranteed system. That is the offer that we run six months, 10 listing appointments, minimum guaranteed with this system. And here's how it actually works. So this is the new AI process that we're using for agents like my mom to generate you know, incredible returns on marketing spend agents all across the country, all the way from Alaska to Hawaii to Texas, you name it. Really what it starts with is an AI advertising system. Now, my team member asked me yesterday, he said, is that a spelling error on the screen? And no, it's not. What most companies do is advertising. They're just running the same old ads. They're just running on the same old platforms. And that's their process for trying to make you stand out somehow. Our goal and really what we've started to shift to is incorporating more and more AI into our advertising. And a lot of times we're also trying to run these viral style ads. If you've ever seen an estate AI ad, you've probably seen somebody uh, on our behalf that's rapping a song or doing something crazy or Jared hopping out of an ambulance, something that's viral by nature and sticks out. The best ad, and this is said by David Ogilvy, who's one of the best ad men of all time. He said the best ad is an ad that doesn't seem like it's an ad at all. And I know that's a lot of ads, but the best advertisement is one that doesn't seem like it's an advertisement at all. And so because our our approach is more of a virality focused advertisement rather than a pitch your offer, sell your brand, it does a lot better and it reaches a lot more people. So that's this, the top of our system. That's where it really starts. After that, we send those leads who see your viral ad to an extreme lead qualification system. This is probably, if you've invested in digital marketing or any sort of online leads before as a realtor, you probably can attest to this is the biggest problem. How do I make sure that the leads I'm getting from my system are actually qualified so I know that I'm actually spending my time in the right places? So this is the extreme lead qualification system that we use. I'm actually going to show you some of the questions that we ask. And then all those leads who make it through that and get through that process we send them to a customized AI follow-up system. So in our CRM, we've actually integrated ChatGPT. We're kind of improving the flows right now too. By next Wednesday, we should have an entirely custom-built ChatGPT integration into our CRM. So you can actually have ChatGPT follow up with your leads on your behalf. And this is like, man, if, if my mom had this like nine years ago when she first started, she would have loved it, right? Because she didn't want to follow up with leads. She didn't want to text leads all day. She didn't want to constantly be hounding them and emailing them and checking her phone. She wanted to focus on her clients, make the calls she needed to make, you know, do her job, put in some work, but she ultimately didn't want to be texting people all day. And that's where the AI following up with those leads for you really, really becomes powerful. It's almost like you have a 24 seven assistant just working for you and following up with your leads. So this is the kind of ad that we run. 
This is the kind of ad that we use for our clients. And we test a lot of different ads. Ultimately, we want to run what works best, but this is a great example. This is a remake of a viral song from the 90s um, that we had our team actually produce. And this is an ad we're running for a lot of our agents. So we're running an ad like this. We're then sending those leads to this three-step qualification process where we're asking them, what is the full address of the property? So that's one of the first questions we ask. Because we're going after listings, because we're trying to get sellers, if you can have somebody's actual address, you can see what, what condition is the home in, how much is the home worth. You can even go to their house and drop off a CMA if you want. You can send them a letter. There's a ton of great strategies that our agents use. We had one agent, Jared, I think you know this, but I, I'm not sure. We had one agent that I'll share a little bit later. She would send all of her leads a golden envelope that had a check in the envelope of what they could sell their home for. Because she had their address, she would send them all a golden envelope. Every time a lead came through, she had an assistant do it. And they would all open up that golden envelope, see the check of what they could sell their house for, and then they give her a call. She's probably our most successful client to date. She closed 24 deals in her first four months. Insane. 24 deals in four months. And she only spent like 2,400 on ads. Is that Foxy, right? It's 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 Foxy. Yeah. Um, and she's in South Carolina. So I'm in I'm in North Carolina. She's kind of close to me. I, I know her market. Um, and I know no other agent in that market is producing the real the results she's producing. She's acquiring a listing for a hundred dollars. It's incredible. Um, so that's just a little pro tip, a little nugget as far as strategy goes. But yeah, that's the first thing we do. We get their address and we can do a lot of powerful things with that. The next thing we do in this video is just going to keep running. But the next question that we ask is if the value is favorable, how soon are you looking to sell your home? So we're actually trying to get an idea of, okay, if, if there's a number that makes sense for you, when are you actually looking to make this happen? Because you can have the best lead in the world, but if they're not looking to sell until 10 years from now, there's not much you can do right now. You need to drive some ROI within the next few months. And so we're gathering that from all of our leads. You can see, are they looking to sell in a month? three months, six months, or are they just kind of curious? Instead of giving you everybody, we can actually ask and we can discern who's ready now, who's curious, who do we want to spend our time on? And then the last part, and there's other questions we ask as well, but really one of my favorite questions is what is your relationship to the address that you inquired about? Because a lot of leads that will come in will be like some random person who's curious about their neighbor's house or so just some random thing. So we ask them, are you the homeowner of this address? Are you a family member? Are you a friend? Or are you a potential buyer looking at purchasing the property? So right away, you can know their address. You can know how soon they're looking to sell. You have their name, email, phone number, and you know what their relationship is to the address that they're inquiring about. If you had that info, do you think that's a lead that you might be able to work with, that you might be able to do something with and turn into a deal? For a lot of agents, the answer is yes. Now, after that, we take them to our AI system. So this is an example of one of our clients, Crystal, who's in Florida. Um, you can see the AIs automatically booking a listing appointment and the leads responding yes. And the, the AI is just continuing to keep that communication. So that's one of the things the AI can do. It follows up with all of the leads and you can kind of pick the tonality. Do you want it to have a friendly tonality? Do you want it to have a very professional customer service, customer service oriented tonality? What do you want it actually to speak like and sound like? So that's an example for Crystal. The, leads act, the AI is actually booking the lead into an appointment and then it can continue to follow up and confirm that appointment with the lead. That's one of the really cool things about the AI is that it can actually go ahead and confirm the appointment for you, notify you. So without lifting a finger, you theoretically can get just appointments coming and booking on your calendar. Now, as great as that may sound, as, as much work as we've put into this system, we found, if we're being radically honest, that if we don't say exactly what I'm about to say, a lot of you guys will get the wrong idea and will be misled. And um, we don't, that's, that's, we don't want to deal with that. Like that's not the system we want to have. So full transparency. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you do have to work this system too. This is not a get rich quick scheme. 87% of realtors fail in the first five years, 87%. Hmm. And it's because so many of them think that you can just buy some system that will fix your entire business. 
There is no magical solution. There are only good products and good partnerships. But at the end of the day, a partnership is a combination of two or more people. One of those people is you. And so one of the things we do at Estate AI is we hold our clients accountable. Most realtors, if I'm being real with you guys, they don't want to be held accountable. <laughs> and you know who you are, and I don't judge you a bit for it, but a lot of agents don't. They just want to have the magic lead come in. They never want to work it. They don't want to follow up. They don't want to work on their sales skills. And they want to become a millionaire in their first three years. And if you've been in the business, you know that's just not the reality of this game. And I could sit here as a marketer and I could try to tell you this system will do exactly that for you. And that's how it's going to work. And it's going to make you rich and you don't have to do a thing. You don't have to lift a finger at all. But that would be extremely disingenuous. And one of our core values is radical honesty. It's on the back of my shirt somewhere. It's one of my favorite core values that I 100% get from my mom is radical honesty. And if I'm being radically honest, you do have to work this system too. If you don't, you will not get the same results as an agent who does. That just means following up with your leads, calling them, showing up to our coaching calls, which we'll talk about in a second, to make sure you're actually squeezing the juice out of these opportunities. And if that sounds like too much work for you right now, if that sounds like something you don't want to do, I'm just going to be real with you. You're not our person. And that's okay. There's somebody else who will show you, sell you a shinier object that you'll probably buy, but it's not going to be this. Because the agents who do do the work are the ones in the 13% that don't fail in the first five years. So that is really important. I have to stress that because if I don't, uh, people, people will get the wrong idea. I know most of you probably get that and understand that, but I just, I have to put that out there. It's really, really important. You do have to work this system too. That's why we have a full coaching program. This is personally my favorite part of the system. I've paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in coaches. I mean, Jared, we've probably spent 120, 150,000 in coaches just in the last couple of years. We've spent like 5K a month on specific coaching programs. By far, by the way, side note, best thing we've ever invested into. Like best thing we've ever invested into is high quality coaches who have been where we want to go. So that's why we've built out an entire coaching program into a state AI where we have industry experts come on and share what they're doing to succeed, how they're standing out in the market, how they're handling market changes, their sales scripts, their tonality, role playing, anything you can think of that would make you a better agent. We have tried to put that into this group to actually teach people and share with people. As you can see a call like this where there's 40, 50 agents on. So that's the mastermind. We do eight calls a week. Obviously, you don't have to be on all of them but they are there for you if you need it. We talk about sales. We talk about mindset. We talk about AI and how you can leverage it in your business and as a realtor. We talk about building a team, hiring VAs. How do you interview? How do you manage? These are things that most realtors are never taught and they have to learn on their own, just like my mom did. So that's the mastermind. Um, on top of that, we have a really awesome coach. I know this isn't his most flattering picture. Sorry, Jake. I know you're watching this too. Um, but we have a one-on-one -on -one agent success coach and his name's Jake. He's actually a realtor. He's not some dude living in his mom's basement. At least I don't think so. I don't know. He always blurs his zoom background. So who knows where he is, but he is a realtor and he uses the system and he's closed multiple deals from the system up to $800,000. Uh, so he knows how to work it. He's literally succeeded with this system. He knows it. He knows it works. He knows how to make it work. And you get one-on-one -on -one access to him if you ever want to hop on a call and ask questions um, and just brainstorm ideas with him. Really, really an awesome asset to our company. Not sure what we would uh, we would do without him. So that's the mastermind. That how that's how it works. And all of that's cool, guys. All of that, and I'll, I'll shut up here in a second. I know this is uh, this is a little bit drawn out, but. All of that's awesome. That's how the system works. But at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is what have people done with it? Like, what have people actually been able to produce from this system? What is it actually generated? And so I want to show you just a few. I mean, we have hundreds of case studies. We have an entire website estimated, uh, dedicated to our testimonial wall. That's just like, I scrolled through it the other day, Jared. It took me 54 seconds just to scroll from the top to the bottom. Wow. Like, that which may not sound like long, but for a website, like 54 seconds, that that's a that's 54 seconds I'll never get back. Um, so what kind of results can it actually produce? Well, this is Cecilia. Cecilia is one of our OGs. Cecilia, if you're watching this, much love. Shout out to you. Um, she's gotten 14 listings using this new AI system in just her first year. She is a badass agent. And I will say this about Cecilia. She's a hustler. 
She gets after it. We've had agents in our same market who did not get the same results she did. So Cecilia shows up to the coaching calls. She asks questions and she puts in the work. Um, and she also communicates a lot with us. She got 14 listings literally in her first year. And that's just from the AI directly, not including what she learned from the coaching calls. And she posts all of these in the Facebook group. So when she closes deals, she goes in our inner circle, our mastermind, and she shares how she got the deal, what she did, um, and how it worked. Evan lined up six deals in just a few months. BJ signed a $2.5 million listing in her first two weeks in one of the most niche, tough markets in the world. Can't say what it is, but an extremely tough market. Amber made 100K profit in her first 30 days. Bobby signed 19 listings in three months and grew a team and now has one of the fastest growing EXP teams in the country. And Foxy, as I mentioned earlier, in, uh, this one's just crazy. She signed 26 deals, 26 listings in four months just off of 4K in ads. And it honestly, it might've even been 3K, um, but incredible return on investment. These are just six out of the hundreds of testimonials and success stories we've had with this exact system. And that's why Jared and I are so passionate about bringing it to you guys today and sharing it with you and making sure that more realtors at least know what it is, at least know it's out there, not even necessarily use it, but just know that it's an option and that if they want to be a part of something like this, they can. So I promised I would shut up. So I will. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the system. That's how it works. Well said, man. And honestly, so many people come and they ask questions. And honestly, when you were talking about this, I know this isn't something that we have announced, but the, the vision for Stadia is to empower every single person we touch to become seven figure human beings. And one thing that we've realized, and I know this isn't, this doesn't pertain to the people watching this because you guys are the top 1% of agents, but a lot of agents don't know how to squeeze the juice out of opportunities. A lot of agents couldn't make a million dollars a year in commissions if you put it in front of them. And mm. True. One thing that we were talking about doing is building a brokerage and just doing it ourselves. We have so much knowledge on how to generate opportunities, convert opportunities. And honestly, you going through that, I'm like, why do we even let realtors use this system? Why don't we just keep doing this ourselves? But guys, the, the, the reality is there's so much opportunity and there's so much abundance out there. And every single person has the ability to come in, take the information that we have, take the opportunities that we have, go out there, convert it, and make a lot of money and help people really live the American dream, right? Their first mm -hmm. home with that white picket fence. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Matt, I mean, I'd be really interested to go over some like frequently asked questions that people get because, listen, if you're thinking about joining a state AI, if you've thought about it, or you know, you just want to use our free resources in the free group, that's totally okay. We have a lot of great stuff on YouTube, on TikTok. We have great information. Um, but if you are thinking about getting to that next level, joining that inner circle, I mean, before you hop on the call, I want to make sure that you're ready because an educated consumer is our best consumer. And I want somebody who already understands uh for the most part how our program works. So, I mean, Matt, people are always talking about what separates the people that succeed and don't succeed. And I think you kind of alluded to that in the beginning, um, but I, I would love to really press on that because I want to make sure we're getting, I mean, our program is meant for the top 1% of agents. We have some amazing agents. We have agents that are on TV shows that I can't even really tell you in public, but they're on TV shows. We have great special guests um, that join our program as well. But what, what do people really need to do? Because we, we want a specific type of agent. We want that top 1% of, of, of agent. We don't want the agent that's looking to make a quick buck and can barely close a deal. Yeah, 100%. Um, and I, I will say it, it's, yes, we have a ton of badass agents and that's actually a coin that, uh, that's a term that our, our agents themselves coined. But we've seen a lot of beginner and new agents that had the right mindset still crush it with this. Right. I, and we've seen agents that have been in the business 10 years think they're the hottest shit in the world, if we're being honest, and then they didn't get any results. So it really comes down not to how long they've been in the business, but to who they are as a person and what they're willing to, to do and just the way they think. Right. It really comes down to the way they think. Um, so just putting that out there for anybody who's maybe newer in the business and, and uh, is maybe intimidated, doesn't think this is the right program for them because of that. You know, we've seen vets win. We've seen beginners win. It really depends on the person themselves. Um, 
But Jared, was there a question there? If so, I, I missed it. I'm going to be honest. I was multitasking. <laughs> You're kidding me. Because I, I had an appointment, but they had to reschedule, so I had to text them. It, but it was, was, was there a question? It was really about, um, like, what do people need to do in order to succeed? But I, I think you make a really good point. It, it comes down to not necessarily having seven figures in your bank account, but having a seven-figure mindset, being a seven-figure human being, realizing mm. that you don't know everything. Um, and even Michael Jordan had a coach, guys. Everybody has a coach. And it was it, the question really was about how do you win with our program? How do we can guarantee all these results, but how can we actually do that? One of my favorite ideas in business is that your business is just a reflection of yourself and your bank account is just a reflection of yourself, right? Like if you, if you see somebody who is higher than you or is somewhere where you don't want to, or somewhere where you want to be, when I see somebody who's past me in this business, I realize they have one of three things. And Alex Ramosi, somebody that I look up to a lot, he, he's really kind of popularized this idea. If somebody's above you, they have one of three things that you don't have. They either have skills that you don't yet possess. They have beliefs that you either don't hold or they don't have beliefs that you do hold or they have character traits that you do not possess or they lack the character traits that you do possess that are hurting you. So it really comes down to skills, character traits, and beliefs. How do you win with this program? Well, to, to really dive deep, it comes down to the way you think about the business, right? Like I was saying, it comes down to, are you willing to actually do what's required to win? Are you are you the person who wakes up and you call your leads, you follow up, you give people your best every time you meet with them? Are you the person that's kind of just checking out real estate and you know, you're not really all in on it? The thing that made my mom win, Jared, like she was so skeptical when I when I offered her a state AI. When I was like, look, mom, like let's set up the system for you. People are crushing it with it right now. And like I'm her son. She's known me for however many years. Like it was like probably 21 years at the time. And she still was so skeptical. She was like, the most skeptical realtor I've ever talked to is my mom. But I had so much conviction in giving this system to my mom for one reason. I knew that my mom was going to win because she is a winner and she, there was no other option. Like she just needed to make it work. When she became an agent, she had to put food on the table for two kids. There was no other option. So it really comes down to like, as cliche as it is, how bad does the person actually want to make a change? Something you always say, Jared, is until the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of change, you will remain stagnant. And that that's Newton's first law. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalancing force. So unless you have an unbalancing force acting upon your life right now, it doesn't matter what system. It literally it doesn't. You shouldn't even do a state AI. It won't, it won't do anything. You don't have an unbalancing force. And the beautiful thing about that first law of Newton is an object in motion, it also states, will stay in motion, and that is the law of momentum. So people who have that momentum behind them, they are the people who take a system like this and they get the momentum from it because they have a big enough reason to. So we could get into the technicalities. We could get into how do you leverage the AI? What's the script you should use when you call the leads? But at the end of the day, if somebody's hungry enough, they will figure out a way to get fed. And if you give them food and you feed them platefuls, then they're just going to eat as much as they can. And that's what our system is trying to do. It's trying to give those plates to the right people that are actually hungry enough to do something with it. So I'm curious what you think. You probably might have a, a different perspective than I do. Um, but that's that's my initial thoughts, to be honest with you. You said it. You said it beautifully. I think one thing that I'll add is it's actually funny because it talks about Alex Ramosi. Layla Ramosi, which is Alex's wife, she, she said the first time she ever went to his apartment, there were a bunch of pictures of animals on the wall and she didn't understand why. And so she asked him, dude, what's what's up with all these animals with their mouths open? And he said, it's a reminder to be the hunter and not the hunted. Mm. And I think that coincides perfectly to what Matt just said. And I think the one thing that I'll leave everyone with, and we're going to hop off now, is if you are someone who wants to hunt and you like to eat what you kill and you're ready to go out there and make it happen, and that's already who you are. That's just the type of person you are. You're the right person for us. That's the type of people that are in our program.
and they were operating at the highest possible level. If that's you. I'd be super, super um, excited to hop on a call with. I'm sure Matt would as well. And we're doing something really special that we're going to try to talk to as many people that are interested in joining in Stadia as possible as the founders of the company, something we've never done before. We never a, done it. We have a giant team that has always conveyed our vision for us, and they're amazing. And to be honest with you, we're going to still need their help. But for a few people, if you guys comment below, I don't know how many people we'll, we'll, we can cap this on, but I'd love to talk to you, and I'm sure Matt will as well, to talk to you guys about a state AI and about what we're doing here. And the last thing I'll leave you with is a quick little video. And uh, thank you all so much for hopping on, watching this entire thing. And uh, make sure you watch till the end of this video. And yeah, and, and comment, comment AI. We'll just use that as a note to know. Um, that you want to chat and either Jared or myself or somebody on our team will reach out to you. Um, but yeah, Jared and I would love to talk with you guys one-on-one -on -one if you're interested and just, yeah, have a conversation, see if it makes sense. So comment AI and uh, I hope you guys got some value out of this. I hope it wasn't all just, uh, you know, presentation and pitchy, but I hope you guys actually got something out of this, some sort of inspiration or something of value. Um AI is is here to stay, unfortunately, guys. And that, that is a, another thing we could have gone into. But just, just something to keep in mind. If you aren't leveraging some sort of technology, whether it's a state AI, whether it's a certain CRM, whatever it is, if you're not leveraging some sort of technology, now is the time to really start capitalizing on that because it is here to stay. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, Jared, I'll let you play your video. And yeah, this was fun. We got to do this again. Heck yeah. Took us all right, here. 100%. All right, guys. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Ciao. State AI. I got my first lead. Two closings this week. Three million four hundred thousand dollar house. Five million. Six figures. Seventy thousand dollars GCI. Eighty two GCI. Nine grand on that one. Ten a.m. on a Saturday appointment. I got a listing agreement signed. It was on the very first lead that you guys sent to me. Just so happened to be a one point four million dollar property. No big deal. You know we get a one point six million dollar listing. The second one is worth between 1.1 to 1.5 million dollars. Got my first really, really good one. You know, it's like 1. Point something, 1. 1.4 million. He's thinking he's probably worth a million, million and a half. And he wants at least a million, but I'm confident we can get over a million on, on his. For a 1.7 million dollar buyer lead. So it's been a great day. And what does that kind of um, look like with, with GCI as far as EXP and everything, if I can ask? I'm thinking about 5 million. One of them was like a $2.4 million home. Those leads, we have actually got four deals out of them so far. So a total of eight sales, a little over $2 million. I was like, holy cow, this actually works. Been like a, almost a lead a day. I've been in the program for a month. Yep. So 30 leads in 30 days. So it's, I've been very, very happy with that. This energy is just different here. It, it really is. I signed up and within 24 hours, I had two leads that came through. I have paid into so many different modalities that are supposed to help you. And by far, I will say this has been the best investment for myself. It's the bomb thing. You under promised and over delivered. These leads that you got me actually panned out. They actually made money. I mean, this was the best investment ever. Just the communication from the get go has been awesome. Even with the systems that you have in place, like Slack and all that, like if I need something, if I have a question, just the follow up, like, hey, you know, is everything okay? How are we doing? I'm very impressed with that side of it because the other lead companies I work with, it was like a, oh, they got your money, peace out, and they don't really care. And I don't feel that way with this company at all. You all know who every one of your clients are, who we are, and, and that's huge because we're just not a number out there. You know what I mean? I'm just blown away. You guys are the real deal. So impressed with everything that you guys bring. The training. I mean, I just hopped on two coaching calls in the last two days, and I've been taking notes, and I've already been able to use what I heard in the last two days for a call this morning. It's not just here's your lead, and I'll see you later. It's here's your lead, and here's how to use it to get yes. you the listing. So. Yeah, I freaking love you guys. Forget the technical stuff. I love you guys. And then this morning, I called, and I got a listing appointment for Sunday for a million dollars. Woo! Let's go! What? And that's a wrap, guys. Much love. Peace.